All right, so I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how to complete this assignment. This is 5.2.2, Finding a New Lake to Fish. Um, if you had done the previous assignment, there's a video in there about Tom, from Tom Boley about how he finds new walleye lakes in Wisconsin. And Minnesota has something similar to this, too. Uh, you'll find this in the Minnesota Lake Finder. So what I want you to do is find me new walleye lakes. And so next, what you're going to do is copy all this. Control C and then use submissions to paste it and then you'll get started on your research. And so you come back here, you'll see this link, Minnesota Lake Finder. It's going to take you to the Minnesota DNR website again, which we use a lot in this class. And so you need to find a lake and I'm not going to give you any uh, lakes to look up. You're just going to try to find one. Think about lakes. There's a lot of round, there's a lot of bass, and there's a lot of long lakes, maybe a lake that you fish. You want to know what the data says about that lake. So I'm going to type in swan, which is a lake. There's a lot of swans. You can see all of them, right? Look at all these and all these different counties here. But I'm going to focus on the one in Todd County because that's close to where our cabin is. And so right away, I see a big swan. It's right here. Uh, my cabin's over here. There's Long Lake. Um, it's in Todd County. So you need that information. I can see the area of this. It's 946 uh, acres. So you'll add that also to this assignment. But you want to click on this, the Fisheries Lake Survey. And what Minnesota does is they go out and they net these fish or they use electrofishing fishing to go ahead and look at these. And you can see these are standard kill nets that they're using on these lakes. So they'll set those out overnight and they'll come back the next day and they'll collect all the fish. And what you're looking at are these numbers here, the catch per unit effort. And you're comparing that to the normal range. Uh, I would say that any walleye lake, if you see a value that's over four, I know that this says 3.3 .3 to 8.8, .8, but anything over four, anything over four is going to be a good lake for me to go ahead and either ice fish in the winter or put my boat in in the summer and try to catch some of these using a night crawler. So I see that there's 6.25. And so back to this assignment. So where is this lake? It's in Todd County. How many walleyes were in the last survey? There were 6.25. What other species are in high are high in abundance? We'll get back to that in a minute. How big was the lake? So that was an acreage. How can anglers access the lake? And are there any special regulations? And so going back here, I see that any other fish that are larger, um, that there are a lot of, and you can see there's 5.75 black crappies. The normal range is 0.4 to 2.7. So I would add that to this assignment. And I'd look through here and see if there's any other fish that are above the normal range. Okay. And I can also see down here if I'm curious, number of fish caught in each category. So this is the length of them in inches. And I can see that the walleyes, there's a lot of 12 to 14 inches that they got in their gill nets. Some 15 to 19 inches also. And some bigger fish, some females, 11 to 2. Um, status of the fishery, I can read more about this to give me more information about this lake. I can see here's the area. It's 946 acres. You're going to add that. Um, there's a state owned access on the Southeast side. So that's a public access managed by uh, our government. So you'd add that also to this assignment. And then one last thing, are there any special regulations to fish this lake? And so what you got to do is look back at the original link that took you here, which was on Lake Finder about Big Swan. And you can see down here, they do have special regulations on Northern Pike. So you would add that also to your assignment. It looks like all of the fish between 24 to 36 inches must be immediately released. Uh, I can keep the smaller pike. I think what they're trying to do is get rid of some of those smaller pike to shift the gene pool so that there's bigger, bigger pike in that lake. And if you want to know more about gene pools, we talk about that in environmental science. Uh, if you have any questions, send me an email. I hope this was helpful.